All right. Muy buena, muy buena, mi gente. Este, esta es la parte 2 de mi presentación de mi familia nueva. Este, estoy ahora uh, con mi derecha. Está Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor es el hijo mío de que estaba escondido por 49 años. Así que recientemente descubierto y vamos ahora a conocerlos. Voy ahora a hablar en inglés para que él me, me pueda seguir. Así que, Jason, we are on the air. Ok. Oh, of all the songs, Jason. <laughs> yo, hey, Pops, yo, know and I may fall fall from the tree, but I'm still the same branches. <laughs> so true. This is incredible, incredible. So, Jason, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions here. Um, okay. You were born in 1972 in Albany. And, December uh, 30th, 1972, St. Petersburg Hospital at approximately 12.17 a.m. Because it's on my woo, birth certificate. Okay. It's not like I was, right. it's not like I could remember. It's on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So listen, the thing is, is that uh, after I met your mom and she disappeared, um she never came back and and so you assumed that somebody else was your father was was that what's happening jason oh man you know just because you one thing don't mean you believe it <laughs> okay so you were, you the, were, the, you the, were the, person, the person that i was assumed to believe was my father he ain't look nothing like me I noticed oh. it, and he did too. Okay, but you both both presumed more or less that you know fa your father and son with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, honestly, you know, honestly, pops, you know what I'm saying? You know, women know. Women know. You know what I mean? And and and. It's just that, you know, that's who she was with at the time of my conception. So, you know, when you when you put two plus two together, you know, the logical answer is four. And he, if he didn't logically, you would assume that that's where it is. But, you know what I'm saying? When you look at that baby up in there in that paternity ward and you're like, mm, I don't know. He don't got my nose. He don't got my forehead. He ain't got my eyes. Right, 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 right. So you it were with your mom. Okay, okay. But let me ask you: you were with your mom until about eight, and then when you were eight, uh, she brought a big, big grocery to your house. And from there on, what happened with the grocery, and what happened after that, Jason? Talk, talk to us. All right, my mom was in the Army National Guard. You know what I'm saying? She was morenita, you know what I'm saying, through and through. You know what I mean? But um, you know, she was told by army doctors that, you know what I'm saying, she had a terminal disease, which was Crohn's at the time, was very new, unknown. And army doctors, you know what I mean? I mean, they're doctors, but, you know, they ain't, they're not necessarily up on the latest techniques, the newest technology and the latest things. And this was new. They told her she had six months to one year to live. Mm, and that was okay. it. Wow, she had wow. four children, three boys, one girl, newborn baby girl. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, think about that. Psychologically, from those perspective, like, oh my God, I got one year to live and I got a newborn. So, you know what I'm saying? What she did was, She filled that up with food. I mean, I ain't seen that much food to this day. And, 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 uh, you know, may have some kind of a breakdown, you know what I'm saying? In, in some kind of way, or she was, you know, she wanted, she wanted to, 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 to spend that time with the youngest 
of lives that she brought into this world. You know what I mean? Which was my baby mm-hmm. sister at the time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, Pops, like, you know your kids, right? You yeah. know if who's strong, who ain't strong. Even if you don't right. say, even if you don't pick sides, but you know. Right, right, right. So my mom knew her boys was going to be all right. She did what she did. She took my baby sister and she went on to rest in peace in her mom. But God had a different plan, although the doctors said what they said. They told mm. her she only had one six months to one year to live. She wanted to live in a whole 35 years extra. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. Even though that, you know, she stepped off this, that, and the third, me and my brothers, you know, we had to fend for ourselves. You know what I mean? My mm-hmm. oldest brother was 14. The next one behind him was 12. I'm behind him at eight. I'm in okay. elementary school and we taking care of ourselves, going to school, doing whatever is whatever, acting like nothing is nothing. You know what I mean? Now, there may, there may have been a, a, a CPS or a child protective at that time, but you know what I'm saying? Kids back then was built different. We ain't say nothing. We still okay, went to school. Okay. We still uh-huh. kept on keeping on. You know what I'm saying? Because we knew yeah. our moms was coming back. Right, right. And even right, if she right. didn't, and even if she didn't pop sweet, we going to be all right. Because we had each other. Right, 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 right. That's okay. all I got to say. Okay. okay. And, but after that, uh, the thing is, is that uh, your family had to get together and decide what was going to go on with you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, once the food ran out, you know what I'm saying? We got three little, you know what I'm saying, kids running around trying to make the next meal and go to school. They was like, well, you here for dinner every day. Where's your mama? Uh-huh. <laughs> now that's right, natural. Right. That's natural. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All of y'all that's listening and watching, and you know what I'm saying? You got a niece and a nephew, but they coming around at dinner time every night. <laughs> every night. Yeah. You gonna okay. ask what were your mama at? How come she ain't giving you some peanut butter and jelly? How come she ain't, you know what I'm saying, giving bond and connectors? <laughs> Where's she at? Right, right, right. So, you know, I mean, you know, adults is adults, you know, they ain't no dum dums, but yet still, this is the same. Now, we, you know what I'm saying? We ain't like kids today. There ain't no punks in the 70s. I don't care where you at. We're snitching was just not a part of the game. We ain't saying right. nothing unless we're told to say something. Okay, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. But after a while, they did have to get together and they did have to say, hey, you know, somebody's got to take care of these kids. Okay. And were you... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they should feel like home. With an uncle, an aunt, uh, your cousins? Well, what happened there? All right. All right. Uh, my oldest brother, Robert, who is, you know, all right. First and foremost, I want to send a shout out to my daughter, Magica. Because without her, okay. me and you would not be talking. No disrespect, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was already a middle-aged man, and then I was already sitting already under the assumption that I was just going to be who I was going to be. You know what I mean? Shout out to Magica, number one. Without her, we wouldn't be talking. Shout out to, to my son, Mr. Mr. Jason Taylor. Okay, his first name <laughs> is Mr. Isn't yeah. that incredible? That's how first arrogant I am. Not only did I name my son after me, but I had to put a little bit of on it and name him Mr. Jason Taylor. You know what I mean? And and another shout out to all my all the Taylors. You know what I mean? Because had they not been here for me and, and led me in the right directions at the right times, again, I would not be having this interview with you. I would not be talking to you and nobody would even know who I am. Right. Now that that's out of the way, okay. you, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. Um, yeah. I did go with my aunts, you know what I mean? Okay. Who has been my, my, my second mother 
before my mother passed. My oh, other brother, my uncle Haywood Taylor. Like, you don't get no more Morenito than Haywood. Uh, come on, who gonna name their child Haywood? Then, <laughs> then my oldest brother, who is an artist prodigy, ghetto. Picasso, Michelangelo. I hope my little sister Pal Paloma, because she's an art teacher, right? Right, right, right. right Yo, right. I would love for her to meet him because when she she will understand where art truly comes from. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. Props yeah. out to that. So her being an artist is no surprise because uh -huh. I got an artist on the other side. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, oh, it, that just that's just the interconnection. It's just it's crazy to me. You know what I mean? And and I went with one aunt, brother went with another uncle, my oldest brother went with my grandmother's sister in Hartford, Connecticut, Albany, New York. And I was in Schenectady, New York. And all we could do was try to try. Right. With that right. being said, what are ops? <laughs> okay. So uh, from there, uh, you grew up in the same place or, or you traveled around or, or, or tell us about, oh, about the, the... Oh my you know, goodness. Not only did I travel around, you know what I'm saying? I'm growing up in, in, in a shocker. My mom's just went out and, you know, just went off there on the deep end. I'm all crazy. This, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? I'm winning that one. I was a little, you know what I'm saying? One of the gypsy. I went from New uh, uh, Hartford, Connecticut, to Springfield, Massachusetts, to Philadelphia, PA, all the way down to the dirty, dirty south of, you know what I'm saying, St. Petersburg, Florida, and Woo! back again. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Nice. So not only did I, so not yeah. only am I just, you know, hood, I am East Coast hood from all the <laughs> way from the great Northeast all, all the way down. <laughs> so you know all the hoods. <laughs> And know them well. Yes, yes, I do. From all perspectives. Uh, at this, okay. at this, in the same general time frame, you know what I'm saying? Because one year I was here, one year I was there, another year I was here, you know what I mean? But you would think that, oh my goodness, oh my God, oh poor guy, you know what I'm saying? He had no stability, but you got to stand. At that time, you know what I'm saying? Shortly after the 70s with the civil rights movement, and think about this. Political, you know what I'm saying, people at that time was being assassinated at will. And then it wasn't just the Martin Luther King, the Malcolm X's. It was the John F. Kennedy's, the Robert Kennedy's. So there was political figures at that time, you know what I'm saying, who was being taken out. Right, 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 right. For, right, right. for trying to, trying to uh, 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 build bridges between the races. Right, right, right. You know what right. I mean? Right, right, right. I'm a product. Yeah, I'm a product of that generation. Right, 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 right. So, uh, so the thing is, is that you know, you've been traveling around. Uh, uh, how about your education? You know, what what type of work did you do? Oh, I'm a gra graduate of the School of Hard Knock. I got a GED and how to not be a punk. Okay. You know what I mean? So um, even though my education not may not be as affluent as some may would hope, but you got to understand wisdom can never be taught in the school. Definitely true. Definitely true. Right, right, right. <laughs> And from from your different learnings uh, in the streets and whatnot, um, you you are living right now in China. China. <laughs> you're gonna have to That's explain right. how you got to China. How did I get there? Now I know that you you know what I'm saying you talked to my daughter and you asked her how did I end up in China. You asked me how did I end up in China. Now, although yeah. our stories may be different, but they are both yet very true. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Her answer that she gave is the answer that she understands from her perspective. Okay. The okay. answer that I gave to you is my answer from a my perspective. 
Right, right. But you but remember, you're, 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 you're being introduced to my friends and family, so they want to know your perspective in terms of how you got to live in China. How I got to live in China is because, and truly, I genuinely believe that I have no place in America as a minority. Morenito, Barigua, any facet of that form, you know what I'm saying? The, the United States government, politicians, and policies have never, ever been friendly to our people. And I do not believe they ever will be. Just because the smile don't mean that they're your friend. Right. This is what I learned. Okay. Beware of those who smile, because when they smile, they show their teeth. And only predators yeah. attack. I'm just saying that's just my perspective. You asked me. Right, 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 right. And the thing is, is that you uh, plan to be living in China for the rest of your life, huh, Jason? Well, yes, yes. I gave the USA, you know what I'm saying, 46 years. I gave them two awesome people, my son and my daughter. I paid my taxes when taxes had to be paid. I gave them my blood, sweat, and tears. And at the end of the day, they broke my heart. I ain't break them. They broke my heart by, by a KK, a son of a KKK grand dude. What a smile. In our face. Nah, right, right, you know what I'm saying right. I, I, I paid my dues. I gave my, I, I gave my blood, sweat, and tears. They got what they got. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I left, my, and I left my two children behind. Okay. It's time, it's time so that me. means. Uh -huh. Ah, no, yeah, right, right. That means, Jason, you're going to have to prepare a room for me someday because I'm going to have to see you in China, huh? Oh, what? Oh, listen, you know what I mean? It's, it's already right there. You know what I mean? You All know, right. I, got you. I got you. Totally unscathed. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I just ordered some sheets, pillows, this, that, and the third. I got you, got you a little, got a little wardrobe for you right here. So you know what I'm saying? Put your hand. That goes for all the brothers and sisters. Courage to look outside your current switch. Listen, the only thing that's stopping you is you. Right, 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 right. Hey, Jason, that so is, it. That that is that. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, these people out here got you thinking that. Oh, Oh, the rest of the world is up. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? The USA is the light of the world. And you know, and I know that these liars, you really going to believe them? Right. Come on now. You got to get out there on your own and see for yourself. This is, you know what I mean? This is why I'm at. Most of y'all got more education than I do. But do you have the courage that I do? You have the bravery that I do to come out here mm. and just see. You ain't got to live. Just see. Understand that there's more to what's going on in your life than what you are being led to believe. Right, right. right At the end right. of the day, you know what I'm saying? I am my father's child. And I'm smarter than you could possibly imagine. You know what I mean? Hey, On top of if that, you, if you got nice to where you are, you are one smart kid. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, 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 is that a surprise? Really? Come on, Fox. Surprise? No, it's not. I think of it as a testament to you, Poppy, because, you know what I'm saying? If you was to be dropped anywhere in this planet as an infant, you would still prosper. Why? Very true. You would make the best of you wherever you was at. You would learn how the system works. And then you would mm, surpass it. Right. Because that's how you build genetically. And that's, I am that representation of that attribute of you. In all Melendez, everyone who's listening to this right here, who has a child, 
your child can be so much more if you remove yourself and let that child shine. My daughter has a bachelor's degree, a master's degree. I have a GD, and I ain't never stopped her from being her. Right. I have never interfered with my children being the best that they can be. Because sometimes, sometimes be like, oh my goodness, no, I don't want them to be better than me. I'm the parent. I should be, I should be the number one. Nah, get that out your head. You are the trainer. <laughs> you were the teacher. Hey, but you ain't the one. Hey, Jason. Hey. Jason, I am dying to go to China. Spend some time with you, Jason. Be prepared. I am going. I am ready and waping your pops. Just bring some canepas and slan with you, okay? Uh, we'll do. <laughs> we'll do. Listen, let me what, one last question before we end this. Listen, mm. uh are you lonely over there in in China, or or is 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 somebody there to take care of you? <laughs> I am my father's child. I got gay, no matter where I am. Russia, China, USA, Guatemala, England. You know what I'm saying? Even South Africa. I am my father's child. I got gay. And yet, I do have a little something, something over here helping me out. Don't you listen? I don't know. I don't speak the language that I don't know the custom. And the one thing I knew before I got here is I'm going to need full assistance. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, we missed like, I know. This guy, he thinks he's all that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jason. Take care. Oh, Take care. I'm always here, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's been a 49 year absence that we can still, you know what I'm saying, have that love and mutual understanding and respect. To all those who see oh, in this man. situation, oh, I am I am just a representation of my father. Regardless of my or my environment, just because I may sound a certain way, don't mean I ain't got it up here. Uh, I am my father's child. You are your father's child, definitely. <laughs> Take care, Jason. Mm -hmm. Take care, pops. Yo, hit me up anytime you want to. The same for anybody who got any questions. If you ain't request me on Facebook, then that means you don't want to mess with me. That ain't my problem. Definitely. Take care. You too, Pops. You be easy, man. Good. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling yeah. good. I'm like, what? My pops was like that at 70. Oh, who got the gasoline? I got the gasoline. <laughs> Take care. You too, Pops, man. Take it easy. I'll talk to you.